Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Rise of Empires, Ice of Fire with me, Mr. Gill. Thank you so much for all of your previous views, likes, comments, suggestions, and subscriptions, and keep it up. <laughs> Please click the like button, click the subscribe, uh, join us for the weekly uh, live streams, which are always on Saturdays. Um, Saturdays around, what is, is it? Uh, 14.30 game time. Uh, always we do some live streams. Anyway, today we have talked about base orange heroes. We've talked about base uh, season one, season two, season three, all in the combat. However, we have not talked about any of the development heroes. So today we're going to talk about base orange development heroes. Okay, so basically these are the ones that are available to all from the start of the game. These six orange heroes here. Um... I don't have any single one of them, and it is very frustrating for me. Um, I am working through with Fragments uh, in order to get uh, a couple of them, Plague Doctor and Sir Rogalin. Uh, so that is an option for you if you don't. Remember, you can get Fragments uh, through opening chests, but also through using Hero Tokens. If you want to understand more, check my video on Fragments. Um, but development heroes let's just have a quick look and see um now i don't know if there's going to be one which one is the best because they're all pretty damn good uh so basically you have sir rogalin uh, the drill sergeant and royal drill master uh these guys are in charge of basically if you station them in your town hall they're going to be taking care of your training uh troops and all of that kind of jazz and by taking care i mean they will reduce costs speed and all this kind of stuff uh sir rogalin is focused on the cavalry the drill sergeant is focused on on the archers and the royal drill master is focused on the footmen obviously i like cavalry so that's the one i'm trying to open with fragments at the moment each of them have roughly the same skills uh, the first skill uh and we'll just look at sir rogalin as a example the first skill here uh, increases XP for every cavalry that you train. Uh, that will help with all the other skills. The stronger uh, he gets here, the more these other skills will have a little bit of buff as well. Uh, the second skill uh, is the training speed. So by increasing this, you will increase how fast uh, you are training. Uh, the third skill is the training upkeep. Uh, so for cavalry, that's lumber. For footmen and archers, that is food. So this will reduce the amount of lumber uh, that they are consuming, uh, wood, so to speak. And uh, for the other two, that'll reduce the amount of food they're consuming. Uh, the fourth skill is training count. So this is how many people you are training at the same time. There are other things that affect this as well, some of the researchers, so keep an eye on that. Uh, fifth skill is the training cost. So this will reduce the amount of say lumber and iron it costs me to train some cavalry or food and uh, wood it trains you to cost an archer etc etc so this will reduce that cost as well um, and then the last one is training speed so this will increase and in how fast you can train uh, your troops all of these are very very good and if we can see here this is 60 percent extra speed this is minus 40 percent of cost which is a huge thing this is an extra two and a half thousand troops uh, trained at the same time if you've unlocked that uh, this one is reducing the uh, upkeep, so the consumption by 25%. Very, very, very good skills and something you should definitely have. So I would say that you focus on the one that you want. As I said, I'm cavalry and that's what I use nearly all the time. So I'm trying to get Sir Roglin. Um, but if you, know, if you use a lot more footmen or a lot more archers, then make sure you focus on those ones. At the end of the day, getting all three would be no bad thing. Uh, without a doubt, that's no bad thing at all. Now, the other three uh, base orange development heroes are the Plague Doctor, the Merchant, and the Castle Builder. These are pretty easy to work out what they do. Plague Doctor is someone you station at the hospital, so I've got a bit of a hiccup there, excuse me. Um, and basically what they're going to do is the same thing, is they're going to take away some of the speed, uh, some of the cost, uh, some of the upkeep. Uh, they're going to increase, you know, how many things, uh, the medical tent capacity, so how much you can... Uh, heal at one time um, and they're going to you know take away the costs etc 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 was that one including gold or, or that is including gold oh that's interesting see this first this third skill here reduces the cost but it excludes gold whereas this skill here includes gold that's a nice one that's a nice one uh, so plague doctor is also something i'm working and getting because i do think that's a good general thing to have is to reduce the cost of any um healing that i have to do and as you can see i'm nearly there probably maybe tomorrow I should be able to open the Plague Doctor. Um, whoops. The other two, very, very simple. The Merchant is obviously involved in your um, Mint or your Banks. Where are we? Over here. Sorry, just let me get back. Like a soul, like a soul, like a soul. There we go. 
Uh, so the merchant obviously is someone you station at your mint and they increased uh, gold production, which is again, very, very useful thing. A little bit of help there with rapid production. Uh, this is more, this is after use, gain gold. So this is an active skill you have to press every day. Um, and this is base production increases. Oh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, all of these are very good as well. However, I'm not too stressed about money. So I'm gonna say this is probably for me the worst one out of these six. I, I would probably get that one last. I would get Sarogalun and the Plague Doctor first, then probably oh, Castle Builder. Now, somebody said in the live stream that Castle Builder you actually have to pay to activate. I don't know about this. I've never been able to open Castle Builder, so I don't know. However, what Michelangelo, the Castle Builder, does is offer um, lots of very interesting things. So if the duration, see here, if you use this skill, unlock this skill, and you don't even need to upgrade it, um, any time that the uh, building duration so upgrade is less than six minutes it'll be done instant which is always a nice little bonus it, this is going to reduce uh, food and lumber upkeep for all of your units this one here is going to increase building speed up to 30 percent which is fantastic this one here is going to help with siege defense so this is when you're attacked uh, going to give you an extra 30 percent if you max that one this one here is going to except for gold is going to reduce the cost up to 25 20 percent of building upgrades um, this one here is going to take away building gold costs, which is fantastic, up to 20%. And this one here is going to reduce or uh, increase the building speed by up to 70%. Those are all incredibly good. Um, <coughs> incredibly good uh, buffs to be able to activate. Now, as I said, somebody did mention in a, in a live stream, and I, I haven't been able to, I haven't, I know, don't know anybody who has Castle Builder, um, but that it is he is somebody you have to activate with real life money now i don't know uh, what i'll do is i'll slowly try and get the fragments and open it up and see what happens there so if we're going to go through that again i'm going to say that basically for me so rogalin is probably the one i want the most uh in terms of that he's going to help me with the training of all of my cavalry and you know that is always important um i then say plague doctor is somebody that you know so i'm going to say that's number two uh reducing healing costs and all that kind of stuff every little bit helps and i think that's fantastic definitely castle building number three and then the two other um troop training uh, development people uh royal drill master and drill sergeant and then finishing off with the merchant uh, so if i was you and if you had the choice uh if you are buying fragments my view would be go for sir Rogalin or one of the other ones if you are focused on cavalry or archers that's my two bits on my two bits <laughs> that's my is that a saying that's my two bits you know when you say something out loud and you forget that you've ever said it before well that's my two bits on um base orange heroes development um hopefully in the next video what we're going to look at is we're going to look at the rest of the some of the purples uh some of the blues and then we're, we've also i'm still working on comparing all of the seasonal heroes um and trying to find out who's best in complete um but that has taken me a little bit of time I hope you enjoyed it. Please click the like button and subscribe. Check, uh, join us with the live stream on Saturdays. And otherwise, I'll catch you again soon. Cheers, guys. Bye.